Hi, I'm Holly Petrie here with Nation's Restaurant News, here with Lindsay Redkoski, the VP of National Marketing for Wendy's. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Holly. So you just got off the creators panel. You're fresh off the stage. Fresh. How are you feeling? I feel great. It was super energizing to be with other leaders of our amazing industry, and everyone's stories are so unique. Uh, but we found both backstage and on the panel so much in common, and it was really fun to be able to talk about that and celebrate the recognition from NRN. So one of the big things that's on everyone's mind right now is the metaverse. Wendy's is big in the metaverse. You guys are one of the first brands to go into it. You have a really big presence there. It's really exciting. You were one of the only brands to sort of keep dropping things during the summer. Um, tell me a little bit about that and what makes you guys really feel that it's the next big frontier. Yeah. Um, the metaverse is, is super interesting and you know for us it wasn't just something that came up quickly. Um, it's been a conversation over a period of time. I think before we knew it would be called the metaverse, we knew that virtual reality um, and augmented reality was becoming a trend. For us at Wendy's, um, we really bring everything back to our brand positioning, which is all about having our customers' backs, um, forming a relationship with them, getting to know them, then meeting their needs as a restaurant brand or service or experience brand. So for us, that's been this migration or journey from things like you know, Twitter a couple years ago. Wendy's Twitter was all the talk and still is today. Um, but we moved from Twitter to sports to other entertainment properties to gaming. We spent time in Twitch. We've done a lot with Brick and Morty. And as we saw fans start to be interested in the metaverse or virtual reality, we said we got to pay attention to this and figure out like if our fans are going to be there, we want to be there too and be participating with them and enhancing the experience. Um, so that's kind of where it started a couple, not really a couple years ago, but that's the migration on where we've been. Let's talk about your fans because they are fascinating. You guys really interact with them in some of the most interesting ways that I've seen from all restaurant brands. And I mean, Wendy's Twitter was famous for so long for being the sassy clapback queen. Uh -huh. um, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so um, that really comes back to this idea of forming relationships. So whether it's um, Twitter, other social platforms, you know, we don't want to just be the brand there to be the kind of corporate stuffy sponsor. It's all about showing up as a human and we've seen that people or fans or customers, they respond to that and, and they love that. So um, for us, it, it's also about knowing those audience groups uh, based on platforms. So the Facebook fan group for Wendy's is different than the TikTok group or the Twitter group or the people that would be in Metaverse. So we really try to enter these spaces slowly um, and study them for a long time to understand the dynamics so that we can show up in real and authentic ways. And we've seen time and time again that our fans reward us for that, both in how they engage with our content on these platforms, but then in how they visit the restaurant as well. And so how do you really go about, you know, interacting with your fans like this? It's, it's a big deal to really go to all these different platforms and to learn all these different platforms. How do you even go about doing that? Yeah, well, we are so blessed at Wendy's to have an amazing team, um, amazing team in our social and connections group, at our agencies, with partners like Meta. Um, and it, it's important because the platforms are all different and the people are different. So it comes back to getting to know them. Um, but we're very active, like daily. We are always uh, monitoring and participating in these spaces. Um, so we say there are teams with like hands on keyboard or hands on keyboard all the time um, because it's, it's so li like alive and nimble um, in how we participate. So you have a really engaged younger demographic. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like to cater to these younger people who are really coming up in technology in this world and, and have all of this money to use? Yeah, um, it, it's been interesting because this group, um, some of the younger generations, they can sniff out like corporate stuffy brand sponsor or somebody who's just paying to have access to fans instantly. Um, so for us, it's all about, as I said earlier, like observing, spending time um, to understand an audience before we go into an environment. And when it comes to then how that translates to how they feel about their dining dollars and what brands they visit, their expectations are also super high um, because they've been raised in a world of instant gratification, everything's at your fingertips, whether it's information, an Uber ride, DoorDash delivery. Um, so we've really talked what, you know, with 
the fan groups, but also with our restaurant teams and our operators and the people who work at the brand, um, that our, our standards around service and speed and accuracy um, really have never been higher because the customer expectation has never been higher. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about this information. It's been so exciting. Can't wait to see what Wendy's does next uh, in technology and in all of this social engagement. Awesome. Thanks, Holly.